What is going on, Seifu community? It's Nathan B here again with another video. Uh, I've been looking through my comments and I saw a question that came up a few times, which is how do we actually deploy the virtual machine to Azure? Can you give us a video on doing this in a simple way? So that's what I did. My goal is to try and simplify this as much as I can. And I got it down to kind of two clicks. So sit back and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so on the screen I have a website called GitHub and GitHub is storing all the deployment files uh, to get this deployed in an easy way for you in an Azure subscription. So the goal here was to yeah, really just click a few buttons, a little bit of input, and then it will automatically deploy the virtual machine or your SafeUX full node or light node. All right, so but before we get to clicking on that de uh, deploy to Azure, the first step we need to do here is have a subscription. So I'm gonna step you through that now. All right, so maybe go over to Google and type in Azure free account um, and then click on this create your Azure free account today option. Now Azure will give you up to $200 in credit for the first 30 days. Um, so to get that set up on an existing account, you want to click on this start this green option here start free. It's going to take you to this sign in page. Now you can use an existing email account, a Gmail, an Outlook, a Hotmail, a Live account if you want. Um, or what you could do is create a new one, a dedicated one, just for um, you know your your node your node setup to have it completely separate. That's up to you. But for this exercise, I have um, created just a, a, a test account that I'm gonna put in now. All right, so I think it's Outlook. Looks good. And then I'm gonna click on Next. So I'm gonna enter the password for it. All right. So I just created previously a dedicated email because that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to keep it separate from my other personal emails. Um, and then it will bring you to this section here, which is just personal information about your name. Um, you could first try and put in some other Seifu X, uh, Seifu X or Seifu and then X's last name, etc. Uh, but you're going to need to put in a cell number because it's going to be have to text you. You're going to have to do like a test and you get a code, etc. Um, and another step here is at the end is you're going to have to put in a credit card. So I assume that that address needs to map to that credit card, but that's something that you can work out. All right. So once that's done, um, you should be able to log on to, to the account uh, and go to the portal. Once I've set up my Azure subscription, I'm going to come back to this GitHub, GitHub repository and I'm just going to click on this deploy to Azure option here. Okay, so now it's going to ask me for my account and I already have an account that I've been using in previous videos on my channel. So let me use that and I'm going to enter the password. Sure. All right. Now it's going to log me on to the portal. And you can see I go straight to this custom deployment section within the Azure portal. And all I need to do now is um, I have my subscription. Now this will be whatever you put previously, how you set up, uh, that's what it should be. 
Um, so whatever the subscription you just set up, the free 30 day, $200 per month, uh, for the first month subscription should be listed here. Now, what you want to do is create a new resource group. So a resource group is going to be um, a boundary for all the different resources needed to run a virtual machine. They're going to be stored in this same group called a resource group. So I'm going to call mine um, Seifu X node um, RG for resource group. Okay, so I'm going to select that. Now, this is just creating a new resource group, which is what we want under our subscription. The next option that we need to select is the region. Okay, so the region is going to be really dependent on where you live, which country, what the what the closest region to you is. Um, for me, I'm just going to select this East US. Okay, the next option is a username. So the username is going to be for that virtual machine or that node, what you log on as. Okay, so what credentials that you put in to log in. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've been using node admin. Now I'm just going to continue with that. And I'm going to enter um, a password here. Okay, so you can see there that the value must um, have a length of at least 12 and there's some other um, requirements there. Now in this template, I only have the password once here. So just, you know, take your time, make sure you get the password that you want, you remember it. So going through this section, I think I'll be a little brief, um, but this you don't have to worry about. It's really just a, a name here. I've, I've added all the descriptions for the different parameters. Um, you, you can either change that to something for the, for, you know, I, I added node public IP, that's fine. S static is going to be just something that it'll keep the same public uh, IP. Uh, just leave that, that's fine. The basic SKU is fine, leave that. The operating system that gets deployed is going to be Windows 11. At this stage, without the white paper, um, that is fine. I may change this up depending on the white paper, change the template up, but, th but that, that'll be fine. Now, for the virtual machine size, this one is going to be your two CPU, eight gigs of RAM, premium disk, um, around 70 US dollars per month. Okay. And I think I detail it there and the approximate cost is around $70 per month. Don't worry about this, the, the, the location. The next one here is what do you want the actual virtual machine to be called? Okay, I have here Seifu X node. You could put in Seifu X full node or light node, depending on if you wanted to be more specific, but that's fine. This is really your second click here is review. Well, your maybe click before your last year, your second one, but um, this is it. This is the last click, literally create. And the deployment is in progress. So I'm going to come back when this is finished and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so my deployment is complete. Um, and it is done. So I'm going to go across to my virtual machines here. And this is the previous one I've been doing some of my other videos on, but now I'm, I can see here that I've created a Seifu X node, which is the name I gave it. Um, remember I detailed that you could add full or light there. It would be detailed here. And yeah, you can see the subscription. You can see the, the resource group that we created. It's running and everything looks good. So I'm just going to click inside of that. And yeah, again, I can see it's running. Everything is great. So I'm going to try and connect to this. So you can come across and copy the public IP address here. Okay, so I'm just going to 
edit my file that I've been using in some of my demos and Alright, so these that's the node admin, so that's where that will go um, for the username. Okay, so we are up and running. We've deployed. Uh, so in summary, if you go to this GitHub repository I created, you create your subscription like I showed you through the portal, and then you come back here and deploy to Azure. The end result is going to be it's all automated for you. You have to you ask a couple of questions and this will be um, up and running for you. Um, so it's it's really simple. Okay, I'll end it there. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And I'll continue to make some more videos around, you know, virtual machines, C2X nodes in the cloud. Um, but until then, bye for now.